In this episode, I'm going to show you how to enable the two-factor authentication feature within the Blazor Plates environment. I'm going to go to the user account settings page to enable the two-factor authentication feature. From the two-factor authentication tab, I'm going to click on the add authenticator app button. As we can see, the system responds with a pop-up containing detailed instructions about how to enable the two-factor authentication feature using your smartphone device. As shown in the instructions, you should install the Authenticator app on your smartphone in order to enable the two-factor authentication. First, I need to get the Authenticator app verified by the system and link it with my account. This can be done by scanning the QR code shown in the pop-up using the Authenticator app, which is already installed on my smartphone. After I scanned the QR code using my Authenticator app, a new code was generated for me. Now I'm going to enter the code in the code field. Alternatively, you can enter this key manually in your Authenticator app in order to generate the Authenticator code. It's a good option if you have a non-functioning camera in your smartphone. Now I'm going to click on the Verify button. As we can see, the system responds with a message indicating that my Authenticator app has been successfully verified. Now I have my Authenticator app verified and linked with my account, so I can use it whenever I want to sign into my account. Notice that the system also generated some recovery codes. I can use these codes during login if my smartphone is not available at that moment. I'm going to explain how to use these codes later in this episode. Now, after enabling the two-factor authentication, I'm going to log out then log back into my account to see how the two-factor authentication works in Blazorplate. During the login process, I will get authenticated in two steps. In the first step, the system prompts me to provide my login credentials as usual. In the second step, the system will ask me to provide the authenticator code that I can get from my authenticator app on my smartphone. Think of it as another key to open a second door, and that's why it's called two-factor authentication or two-step authentication. Now I'm going to use the Authenticator app to generate the Authenticator code and then, I'm going to enter that code in the code field and submit it. Now I logged into my account successfully as the Authenticator code I've just used was valid. Suppose my smartphone is not available at the moment I want to sign into my account. What should I do in this situation? Well, do you remember the recovery codes that were generated when I enabled the two-factor authentication? There was a message indicating to keep those codes in a safe place so that you can use them later if your smartphone that has the Authenticator app is not available at the moment you want to sign into your account. So I'm going to log out and then log back into my account using the recovery code. I'm going to fill in my login credentials as usual, and then I'm going to choose to log in with recovery code. I'm going to submit one of the recovery codes that I already have. Remember that the recovery code is a one-time code and cannot be reused. Now I managed to log into my account successfully without using the Authenticator app. In case you consumed all of your recovery codes, you can obtain a new list of recovery codes from the two-factor authentication tab in your account settings. You will find an option to reset your recovery codes by generating new ones. Thank you for watching. 